Okay, all you folks that have waited for an end of season bargain, here it is. We've got the last unicorn Sea Ray available. She's a 2004 280 Sea Ray Sundancer, well powered twin Merc Cruiser 4.3 engines. She's just been buffed and waxed. She's a beauty, loaded with lots of features. So don't let the rest of the summer pass you by. Come get License to Chill here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are starting off forward port on this 2004 Sea Ray 280 Sundancer listed by South Mountain Yachts. We see she's just been buffed and waxed, so she shines like a new dime. Coming down along the bow of the vessel, we see we've got a nice windlass with foot pedals and the remote control from the helm. We also have a nice plow anchor to provide security when we anchor. Coming down along the starboard side, there it is, a nice LLI feature, ladies like it. You can have a nice large custom pad made to put out there so you and the family can enjoy laying out on the foredeck. Sea Ray does an excellent job with the stainless steel port lights and heavy duty rails. This model has the curved Taylor windshield, which is tinted. We don't see that on vessels anymore. We do have a four and a half bimini, and there's our radar dome right there. Coming down along the side, we see our side panels are nice and clean. The rest of the canvas needs some attention. There's our classic 280 Sea Ray badge. And then we have our deck plates right here, our water fill and waste pump out. Here at the transom, we see we've got a nice extended swim platform. And if you notice, we have an additional formed in step right there. Once on the swim platform, we see we have our covered boarding ladder right there, our trunk storage, and a ski toe eye. Let's not forget, we've got an included barbecue with this. We enter the vessel through this starboard door, and just upon entry, we see we have our hot and cold shower right there. Entering the cockpit, we have it set up with our transom bench seat down. That actually folds up against the transom to give you a little more space acts as a combing pad when fishing. We've got a cocktail table right there and our seat there. Now this chaise lounge seat opens up, lays flat for yet another sun pad. And off to port, we have our LLI, ladies like it, a four and a half facing chaise seat. Circling around, To the foredeck, which has easy access, up the steps, out, and there you are. Our helm is nicely furnished right here. We've got the burled wood finishing, four-in-one gauges, Raymarine C70 chart plotter radar combination, our VHF radio our burled wood with touch plate panels right there. The classic leather and wood wrap steering wheel. And then our captain's seat, we've got a nice well padded bucket seat with the thigh rise bolster. As we move aft, we see we've got a wet bar right here. And down below, it's large enough to put a nice igloo cooler in access to the engines are through that hatch just lift up and we've got our twin 4.3 engines right there engine access is through this hatch just hoist away if you notice we can leave the table and the seat up this gives us an overview of the engine space right here We've got our twin Merc Cruiser 4.3, 220 horsepower engines. 
off in the corner. We have our water heater, a couple batteries right there. Build is fairly decent. This here is where the table stores. We've got our macerator overboard discharge right there. Once we finish our inspections, we can just easily drop the hatch. Neat, clean, easy to care for. Now, as we move forward, we see another dinette right here, which this tabletop also lowers, and this becomes a nice sleeping area of V-berth right there. We've got hanging lockers to one side, gunnel storage, and a privacy curtain also. So we circle around, we see we have another hanging locker, and then here at the galley, it's large enough to accommodate weekends and just days on the water. We've got a microwave, Corian counter sink, single burner stove right here, refrigerator below, along with additional storage. As we circle aft, we check out the head right here. It's fully lined, fiberglass, easy to care for, easy to clean. We've got our vacuum flush toilet with a macerator overboard discharge. We've got the pull out RV style shower. So there's enough room in there. As we circle aft, we've got storage. And then our mid cabin is back here. We do have a privacy curtain. And we've got a mirrored locker, about three and a half feet of headroom right there with a window. As you can see, that's full beam and goes further back. She's large enough for two people to sleep in comfort. License to chill is well cared for, single owner, 280C Ray Sundancer. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.